Hello, I'm uh, Dr. Robert Nucci of the uh, Nucci Spine Orthopedic Institute, and I wanted to talk now a bit about a, a new technique for lumbar fusion surgery, low back fusion surgery. Low back fusion surgery has had a, uh, uh, a history uh, that uh, is often scary to patients. Uh, patients have heard, uh, and uh, from what I've seen, a lot of uh, very uh, bad stories about results of low back fusion more pain, uh, uh, no relief of their symptoms, and even greater disability. At the uh, Nucci Spine Orthopedic Institute, we have uh, new techniques that are quite revolutionary that allow patients to return to function much more quickly and the results to be much greater, uh, much greater success. The, one of the main reasons that uh, low back fusion surgery is unsuccessful is the amount of tissue uh, dissection that is done. In other words, when surgery is traditionally done, a large incision is made in the low back, the muscles are essentially torn or removed off the spine, and the bones of the spine are, 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 are removed with instruments and the nerves exposed, and there's a great deal of bleeding uh, and a great deal of a mus a muscle injury and pain and disability. Uh, with newer techniques, however, the amount of tissue dissection is very small. The amount of bleeding is very small, and the surgery is much quicker, and the same results, uh, and even better results, are obtained. Actually, it can be done now as an outpatient. Traditionally, low back fusion procedures uh, require a three to five day hospital stay because of all of that dissection, because of all of that bleeding. Now that the dissection is no longer needed, now that the bleeding is very small, patients are up and around and returning to their life very quickly. The way in which this was, is done is with special small instruments. This is a uh, model of the uh, low back. Uh, this is the uh, spine, these are the bones, and this is the uh, disc in between. This model shows a disc herniation and many times uh, patients will need a lumbar fusion for a disc herniation that uh, is large and uh, uh, the disc itself is uh, injured and, and, and destroyed. What would, we would do would be, uh, rather than a middle line incision, we would make a tiny incision on the side uh, while the patients are asleep in a surgery center, and a probe is put down to the area of the disc and disc herniation. The disc herniation is removed with visualization, um, uh, and um, in its place, uh, a cage is put. The cage that is used is actually a very uh, unique cage. It's a collapsible cage. This is a uh, picture of this cage collapse. It's almost uh, uh, like a, uh, a soft material. It's a mesh uh, cage, and it's put down through the scope into the area of the uh, disc, where the disc was uh, now that the disc has been removed, there's a space. This goes in the space. And this cage is filled with uh, special bone material. Ultimately, it'll look like this. It'll look, look almost like a small lollipop here that would be in the place where the disc was. And I can actually even do that with the model. Take the disc out, which would be done surgically, and in its place would be the cage, would be uh, in, in the middle of the spine in the place where the disc was. As a matter of fact, when the cage is put in, the bones, which are often very close together, are expanded, want the cage in place, and that takes pressure off the nerves from the back. I can show you that again. With the, without the cage, you see the nerve is, is crushed. When the disc herniation disc is removed and the cage put in and inflated, essentially, with bone material, the nerve is decompressed. This is all done through, again, the small incision and small uh, cannula, which is what this is in my right hand, with very little bleeding. As a result of that, patients are up and walking around very quickly. There's also instrumentation put in in the back here, also through small little tiny incisions. So patients leave with a uh, small incisions, a few band-aids, or an up and out of the uh, surgical center uh, on the same day, surgery taking a couple of hours at the most. The uh, return to function and, and uh, life is, of course, much faster. The postoperative pain is significantly less. 
patients do extraordinarily well overall.